Morning. Hi. Hi. Want some breakfast? Oh, maybe. You know, that might cook quicker if you uh, turn the stove on. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. So where is everybody? Uh, Jean left for work already, and Mama is, uh, she's out to see Mrs. Giraldi. I guess she's sick or something. Oh. What are you looking for? Oh, that egg turner thing. Oh, uh, is that it over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want your sunny side up, too? Uh, no, no, just cereal for me, thanks. Okay, there's some up over there. Oh. You have the kind that snaps and crackles, the kind of like little donuts? Uh, why? What? What's wrong? Don't you like eggs? Uh, not since Harold Webster's coming over. I'm on a little diet. Coming over for lunch, and boy, that guy can put it away, you know what I mean? being in limbo like this. What am I going to tell the caterers? And then there's the, the invitations and all our honeymoon Nancy, arrangements. Harold will get back to us very promptly. Now, just don't worry. Harold? Do you know that's the reason we're in this mess? He's such a buffoon. I don't know why you ever keep someone on like him. Because he serves my purposes. That's the reason that I keep anyone employed. Now, please try not to get too upset. Upset? Charles, we have been waiting for weeks about your divorce, and uh, uh, to tell you the truth, it's really driving me crazy. Nancy, I am going to see Harold this morning about something else, and I will ask him then. No, ask him now. I can't stand waiting anymore. <laughs> All right. You know, it occurs to me that uh, patience is not a virtue that either one of us has. Harold, it's Charles. What have you found out about my divorce? Well, do it then. And I also want you to come over here uh, within the hour. You heard me. Is he coming? He'll be here. You sleepy or something? No, why? I thought you were going to doze off there for a minute. Oh, no, I was just thanking God for my food. Oh, I just never saw anybody do it without saying anything before. Oh, I'm relatively new at it. Please, pass this off. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Thanks. You going to eat those things? Well, I'm going to try. How's your cereal? Huh. At least it's crunchy. Well, as you can see, I'm not a very good cook. Oh, me neither. Well, when I grew up uh, at my parents' place, we had a cook, and then when I was married, we had a maid. But I am determined to learn, even if it kills me. You never know. Yeah. So is Paul your ex? Yeah, we were married for ten years. That's a long time. Well, it seemed like forever at the time. So I just split. I was bored. Uh, I guess I was more bored with myself than with Paul, but it's taken me a long time to realize that. Yeah, time is a way of getting away from it, doesn't it? You know, you think there's got to be something better. Well, I'm going to make something better. I'm sure you will. I wish I could say the same for myself. But I've already had the best and ruined it. It's not that I'm not happy, but I do have a lot of regrets. Oh, well, we all got regrets, you know, but I learned a long time ago you can't look back. Well, I Today and tomorrow, that's all I care about. Oh. But your situation is a lot different than mine. Huh, for sure. Well, what I mean is, I want to make my past a part of my future. You want your old man back? Well, when I reflect back on the good times, I think maybe I do. But then, of course, I remember the bad times, and I think maybe not. I don't even know if a reconciliation is possible between Paul and me after all I've done. Honey, if you don't know how to handle a man, he'll forgive you for anything. Besides, what did you do that was so bad? 
Well, besides being a poor wife and horrible mother, all I did was lie and slander Paul's name and reputation in order to get the divorce. So you call the sucker a few bad names. Big deal. What's so bad about that? Well, Paul was a highly successful and respected professor at Kingsley College. And I filed for divorce on the grounds that he was having an affair with one of his students, Lori Davidson. And that scandal forced his resignation. Well, I can see him getting a little hot under the collar about that, but... Babs, they were innocent. Boy, you really did do him dirty, didn't you? Well, at first, you see, I thought that it could have been true, but then I let my father frame Paul in order to get custody of Frederick without any problems. Something tells me it backfired. <laughs> yeah. At first, it looked like it was going to work. I got custody of Frederick, Paul lost his job, and an innocent girl and his, her family were hurt. Then, it didn't take her law year long to prove that we had lied. My father lost his business, and I lost my son. Hmm. Well, uh, how old is Frederick? He's ten. I haven't seen him in almost a year. You know, nobody would keep me from seeing my kid if I had one. You just tell that Wait guy a minute, that... Babs, it's not that easy. You see, Paul took a teaching job in England, and he took Frederick with him. So, write to him. Kick up a fuss. A mother's got a right to see her kid. I don't care what she's done. I don't even have the address. Well, find out. Do some digging. Do some asking. You know, everybody leaves a trail. Well, I guess I could. But who would... Wait a minute, Lori. Isn't she the girl you accused? She'd yeah. probably tell you where to go, not where to write. <laughs> no, no, we're friends now. You're what? We're friends. We're friends. Well, you got to tell me about that one. Mm -mm. Not now, because she have given me an idea, and I've got a call to make. You sure you don't want to eat these, uh, eggs? Your divorce will be final in only two months. Well, there's no possible way that you can expedite that? No, Charles, I did everything I could. I called everybody I could. There's no way to get around the law here. Now, the fact is that uh, in cases of divorce based on desertion, the waiting period is six months from the time the case is filed, not from the time that the uh, spouse is deserted. Well, if that's the best we can do... Um... Uh, well, it's no big deal anyway, is it? I mean, uh, you ought to be thankful that you don't have to wait the balance of a year, Nancy. That's why you invited me over? Okay, yes, I, I wanted to get Paul's address from you, but it was only because I miss Frederick so much. I want to tell him that I'm sorry and that I love him. And Paul? Well, I, I'd like to talk to him, too, although I don't know what I'd say at first. I'm sorry I don't have the address, but if he writes again, no, you can be sure... No, Lori, it's just as well. I'd probably lose my nerve anyway. I was going to ask you to write Paul first. Do you think that's wise? When he would see a letter from me, I think he'd probably tear it up without even reading it. Maybe, but you could write Frederick first. Sure, I could, I could. Oh, no, no, I couldn't. I, I don't have the address. Mm. Kingsley College. What? Well, the college should have it. If you'd like, I'll, I'll find it for you. Yes, yes, wouldn't you? I would. <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Thank okay. you. Okay, <laughs> but you're going to have to do the writing. You're a true friend. All right, Lori. <laughs> do you have any plans for lunch? Oh, uh, no, just stopping for a sandwich on the way to work, since Babs is having a guest. Perfect. You'll be my guest. We'll go to Natalie's. It's a new sandwich shop that just opened. But it would take me a while to change. That's okay. I've got some things to do. Why don't you meet me there in about 45 minutes? Oh, great. That, that'd be plenty of time. It's at the corner of Fifth and Pine. Fifth and Pine. Yeah, I think I saw it there last week. All, All right. right. I'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye. We'll talk more then. Hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, hey. Uh... Wasn't that Lucy? Uh, Lori Davidson. Lori Martin. That's right. Yeah, Ben Martin's wife. Right. Yeah, Nancy's niece. Yes. Hard to imagine that Lori is related to Nancy. Yeah, it's worse is to try to imagine you as a rela relative of Nancy's. Yeah, especially a stepdaughter. Yeah, well, you will be relieved to know that there have been some new developments. What? Well, you got to promise me you won't let on that I told you. Okay, I, I promise. Okay, I have personally managed to stall the impending marriage of a certain uh, money-hungry vamp to a certain uh, wealthy, distinguished you, gentleman. You did it. Yeah. You did it. Only for two months, though, but that ought to be enough time to help us come up with some idea about some way to postpone it permanently. Well, how, how on earth did you do that? I just told him that Charles' divorce wouldn't be final until six months after... The papers were filed instead of six months after your mother was reported missing. Oh, really? Well, how is it that you hadn't realized that before? Well... well uh, it is true, isn't it? <laughs> what a question. Harold! 
Well, look, Nancy and Charles believe that it's true, and that's all that really matters. But are you now saying listen, that maybe... I want you just to let me handle the legalities, okay? That's what I'm paid for. In the meantime, see if you can come up with some way to expose Nancy. If Mother would come back, that would uh, do... I don't think we can really count on that. My investigators still haven't turned up anything. It's like she just vanished. You don't think that something's happened to Mother, do you? Oh, well, I didn't say that. No. Just that she didn't leave any clues around in this area. But we're checking into some places that uh, she and Charles went together, vacations. And no, stuff. I have told you they have vacation all around the world. Oh, uh, thinking about places that they went back to several times. If you can come up with any ideas, if you can remember anything. I've, no, I've told you everything, I you know. Well, if you do think of something, be sure to let me know. Sure, I will. I will. Yeah. Where's Babs? Oh, she went to the store to buy something for your lunch. Oh, gosh, I hope she didn't go to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Although I must admit I could eat a horse. <laughs> <laughs> How about a baked chicken? That sounds good to a starving man, too. <laughs> you going to join us? Oh, no, I'm having lunch with Lori. Oh. Besides, I wouldn't want to intrude, Harold. Intrude? Look, Miriam Babs just works for me. I'm trying to help her through a difficult period here. That's all. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. There's terrible lines at the market. No problem. I hope you like macaroni and cheese. Look, if it doesn't move around on the plate, I'll eat it. <laughs> 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 Terrific. It's my specialty. I wasn't certain about temperature to bake the chicken, so I hope 475 is good. Oh, sure. That's terrific. Thanks, sweetie. Why don't you come on in here while I uh, start lunch? Yeah, sure. I hope you two have a nice lunch. I want to keep you posted on uh, what we were talking about here, okay? Good. Okay. All right. I'm gonna take a load off, honey. Thought macaroni was your specialty. Well, it is. I just haven't made it for a while, that's all. Uh-huh. Here, open that while I get the water ready. <clears throat> so, how was your uh, first night in your new home? Quiet, but I can dig it. Yeah. Miriam's nice, isn't she? Yeah, she's real nice. Kind of different, but uh, I think we'll get along just fine. Oh. I feel sorry for the poor kid, though, you know? I mean, uh... Ugh. Because of Nancy and Charles? Nah, those two turkeys deserve each other. I mean, because of her missing her kid and her old lady, you know? Yeah, I hope she's not in for a big disappointment. Yeah, well, you gotta just go for what you want, that's all. Miriam's a mallard, but she's got plenty of spunk left. Yeah, kind of like me, huh? Yeah, sure. Well, only I don't... Well, I think he was more gutsy instead of spunky. Oh, yeah? Well, I think a lot of you, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really, though, I want you to know that I really appreciate everything you've done for me, you know? Me? Yeah, you. Nah, you're the one that's determined to make a new life for yourself. I'm just getting a secretary out of the deal. And a nice lunch. Right. Speaking of which, uh, do I smell macaroni burning? No, no, it's okay. I can't get over how domesticated you look. Well, what's that supposed to mean? I mean, you look like you belong in a kitchen. Hey, I ain't no housewife. No, I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's a compliment, Babs. Look, what I mean is, uh, I can see you uh, being a good wife and mother someday. Oh, yeah? Is that a proposal? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Well, I mean, uh, that's okay, that's okay. I just want to know where you're coming from. You know, in my line of work, I got a lot of weird offers. Yeah? Yeah. You know, some men really wanted to get married and settle down? Mm, well, I'll spare you some of the gruesome details of some of the weirdos Ronnie brought home, but uh, let's just say that doing it the way Nancy does it, you know, getting yourself a sugar daddy's the easy way out. You know, men have been taking care of me all my life, and uh, it's time I got myself straightened out, and I'm going to take care of myself. You sure I don't smell something burning? The chicken! Holy smoke! Oh, wrong. look at that. Oh. Ah! Oh, brother. Well, so much for being domestic. Shall we eat out? Are you almost finished there yet? I thought you were beginning to like my therapy. It's a therapist I don't like. Now, now. Is that any way to talk to the man who's going to help you land the biggest prize of your life? Now, relax, okay? A couple months isn't too long, really. How did you know about that? Overheard your attorney this morning. Were you eavesdropping again? <laughs> hey, look, don't worry. I can wait a couple months for my $50,000. Besides, I'm beginning to uh, 
you know, feel like part of the uh, family around here. What makes you think you're going to even be here in two months? <clears throat> well, therapy time. How's it going, Tab? Fine, sir. She's uh, making great progress. Well, that's what I like to hear. Uh, Tab, I think I'd like to just lie down for a while. Okay, this time, but uh, oh. Tab's not going to let you toss in the towel. You have too much at stake, right, sir? Right. Charles, I've been thinking, you know, we shouldn't have to wait two months to get married. Nancy, there's nothing we can do about that. You heard Harold this morning. Now, I really don't want to discuss it anymore. Yeah, but I think that we ought to get a second opinion. Now, you remember that attorney that you got in touch with about handling Marion's incompetency, Mr. Buckner? You know, I know that you don't like Harold personally, but he really knows what he's doing. I use Buckner for other matters. Yeah, but Charles, Harold has been wrong before in the past. I trust him, Nancy. Now, please. Oh, Charles, look, we have too much of a stake in this thing. Now, please, would you do it? Do it for me, okay? I'm busy, but I'll make time. Ah, this won't take very long, uh, may I? Sure. I want to apologize to you for leaving so abruptly last night at dinner. It's okay. And also for making you feel that you were being interrogated. Well, you were pushing me into a defensive position. But I'm sorry I mouthed off. Forget it. Mary Ann's quite taken with you. I'm quite taken with her. I don't want to see her disappointed. Neither do I. So why don't we just leave it at that, okay? No, no. You see, you don't understand. You're not a father. A daughter is a very precious thing to a man. Now, we Prescotts have our differences, but we're a very close-knit family. I know where you're coming from, Mr. Prescott. Believe me. I understand your concern, but you can't live Mary Ann's life for her. No, I can't. But as her father, it's my responsibility to protect her from whatever I can. Protect her from what? All men? No, I want to see her fall in love someday with someone, but somebody that has her best interest at heart. Uh, <laughs> here we go again. You know, I get the feeling sometimes that you have already judged me and found me what, what, unworthy of your daughter. Absolutely not. I just want it made very clear from the beginning that I don't want her hurt. Mary Ann is old enough to handle herself and make her own decisions. Age has nothing to do with this. She doesn't have the experience you do. Experience doesn't have to be a, a negative factor. No, it doesn't, unless it's used for manipulation and deceit. You know, every time we let ourselves care for someone, we risk the chance of, uh, of getting hurt. I know it's like to hurt Mr. Prescott. I don't want that for Marianne, and I certainly don't want it for myself again. Mm -hmm. Well, look, Russ, there's two kinds of hurt. There's the intentional and the unintentional. Now, in light of everything you've been through lately, I'm going to ask you to take it slow with Marianne, for both your sakes. This word has two L's. It does. Check your verb tenses by tomorrow. And I think you'll make an A. You know, I have noticed such an improvement in your attitude and in your schoolwork the past couple of weeks. Thanks. Thank you. I'm going to recommend that you be admitted to regular classes as soon as possible. But I'm still on probation. Don't carry a concealed weapon in your purse while you're at school. Then you ought to be able to stay out of trouble. But, but I like it here, with you. Lila. Classes are going to be over soon, and I won't be teaching another one here at Monroe. What's the matter? Don't you like us? It's not you, Lila. There's other reasons that I have to leave. You know, my husband wants me to spend more time at home. But maybe I'll get a daytime class and be your teacher again sometime. I'd like that. Me too. I'm ready. For what? for you to help me with my reading. Monk, it's late. Now's not the time. Hey, you spending all this time with her. I mean, what's wrong with me? You're a rude dude, Monk. That's what's wrong with you. Thanks. Now scram. See you tomorrow, Lila. You see, right here, this is where it gets tough. The blue car. The... Beard. And this is some nice perfume. Okay. So much for reading. 
you buy, Mom? Hey, but it is. Do you want Mr. Kimball to be after you? He's going to be here any minute to walk me to my car. Now, he's kind of tied up in the office. See, I just happened by there and I saw him hassling a couple of Votech kids. But it's okay. Hey, I can take a hint. Nice. Later, teach.